Hi, I'm Terry Smart from Chestnut Products and welcome to our first film in our series about using our products. In this series we're hoping to show you when and why to use our products, how to use them and hoping to pass on some of the tips and information that I've gained in the 25 years since I started Chestnut Products. It's all to do with finishing and that's one of the most important parts of your project and I sometimes think that the importance of finishing is underestimated. You don't just stop making something, you don't just cease, you finish it, you complete it, you make it whole and that's really important. Good finishing can make a great piece look sublime but the reverse is also true and it's a great shame when all the preparation, planning and practice is let down at the last minute by poor finishing. And of course, that's not really the sort of finishing we're talking about, but I think it shows the point. Finishing should be part of your project. It shouldn't just be the part you tack on at the end when you make something. So when you're planning what you're going to do, when you're choosing the timber, the tools you're going to use, the equipment, you should also be thinking about the finish that you're going to apply at the end of it. And there are lots of different factors to take into account to decide which ones you're going to use. For example, is the item you're making quite small and you'll get away with a very glossy finish on it? Or is it something larger where you want a more subtle finish that doesn't overpower the timber? Does it need to be hard wearing? And at the same time, does it need to be handleable as well? And could it be used outdoors? Does it need to stand up to the elements a little bit? Is it going to be used in contact with food? Or does it need to be toy safe? Are children going to be using it? And that's not just for toys, that's also things like nursery furniture. Does the finish need to be water resistant and or possibly heat resistant at the same time? And sometimes it can just be a very awkward shape to finish and that can also affect your choice. Hope you enjoyed the pictures by the way. We got sent lots of pictures all absolutely brilliant and if you stay watching after the credits at the end we'll be showing you some more. I hope you'll come back for future videos where we'll be showing you what to do with the products and how to use them and how to apply them. If you have any comments or questions please pop them in the comments section below and like and share the page and we hope you'll subscribe to it as well so you'll get notifications when future videos are available. And if you have any pictures you'd like us to use in our montage at the end please send them in. Thanks.